Hi guys, it's Gary and Daryl from Ten. Just thought we'd uh, drop you a quick, um, a little post-it note. This isn't it. A little post-it note to let you know exactly what's going on at the moment. We're in the process of uh, recording two albums. Would you believe two albums uh, this time around? And in fact, the first one's just about finished. Mm -hmm. um, mixed and mastered again by Mr. Dennis Ward, and uh, it's due for release. Would you believe in January, end of January? So we're looking forward to that coming out. Um, I'll tell them a little bit about it. What do you feel about the flavour of this one? What do I feel about the flavour of it? I, I think it's I think it's very um, very classic ten with 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 the modern edge to it. Uh, and and a, I'm very confident personally about the uh, this group of songs, as I've been saying for the last few months as we've been doing them. Yeah, you're um, very sort of optimistic. Visual. <laughs> you're very visual on Facebook and stuff, aren't you? I'm a little bit more. No, it's very. It's nice. It's, it's, it's good. You'll be very happy with it, all of you. It's, sure. it's very. Um, it's very songs based this time, and it does sort of give a nod back, if you like, to the first album, Name of the Rose. Spellbound, maybe mm. touch of the robe in there as well for good measure. Yeah. So it's very much uh, a nod back to the early flavours. Mm. And uh, on the symphonic side, keyboards wise, where, where we've used a lot of um, orchestration type stuff in the last few years, um, this one's gone a little bit more analog, a bit more organs, um, more analog synths, as I say. That's so, always yeah. very keen on organs. So it, <laughs> so it's it, so that's obviously making it a bit more retro and takes it takes us back to those earlier days of time to give it that little bit of, a, of that kind of flavour. So uh, mm -hmm. yeah, plus obviously with all the modern edge to it and, and of course the boys, mm -hmm. brilliant guitar solos etc. Um, yeah, sure there's lots amazing. of great guitar work on these new ones. Um, probably I would say that there's I don't think the guys have really touched any of the pre previous work have they really no it always amazes me each time that they no, always fresh. did these different licks and different sort of types of scales and things and um yeah we're not really there's no repetition here and they are very very sort of hookable mm. likable plenty of earworms in the songs very much so i would say hooks. and um so i'm hoping you're going to learn these ones anyway and you're going to come and sing with me because as you know i'm knocking on in years a little bit now and uh, I need the help, basically. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to try now something different for us, I suppose. We're going to try and update you as we go along and do a little bit of a sort of an update every few days just to give you an idea of what's going on yeah. and to sort of let you know that we're still around and we're still thinking about you guys. And we really hope that, especially after all the crap we've had to go through and all the bad times we've been through with COVID this year, yeah. that, you know, that you enjoy this record because uh, essentially it's for you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're, we're making big, big moves on, on all of the production of it, uh, musically and the artwork. Uh, we're making strides now, so it's, it's getting very close to being a finished product, and then we can have it ready for release, as Gary says, uh, early, early doors next year. Hmm. We know the title of the album, but we can't tell you, unfortunately, because that's Frontier's prerogative to announce all that, but we're quite sure that they've got a very sort of lengthy and sort of varied promotion schedule lined up for you in order to release it if you like drip feed bits of information so that we build things up prior to the release so i'm quite sure mm. that they will um, announce these things to you yes. as and when um they they deem things are things are ready for that mm -hmm. so are you gonna do a little quick update on your other project that which is which is imminent oh yes We've indeed well you're involved in it as well I am indeed. you know what i mean partners in crime mm. here, you know? um yeah um teo gotta tell you about teo um, brand new project. Um, it's the first, I know I worked on the Serpentine album and with, with Gareth and Chris, but it's the first project that I've written in its entirety for another artist or band uh, since the Bob Catley albums. Mm. And um, I'd missed that really with Bob because I really enjoyed making those records and it was one of those things where when, you, when you're when used to writing for different voices and different tonalities and textures and timbres of voice, then... Uh, you miss that, but um, I've been able to sort of bring that back into the fray a little bit. Brand new band, Teo. Um, I believe in Chinese it's, it's the road or the, or the journey or um, it's a universal way, in harmony with nature, mm. should we say. Mm. Um, and also it actually stands, you know, if you abbreviated it, it's together as one. Um, three people are actually the core of the band. Karen Fell, fantastic vocalist. Um, great range, really nice sort of 
if you like, warm voice at the low end and there's real power at the top yeah, end. Very much. Um, it's quite a it's quite a sort of an exciting album from her point of view because she really does sort of ping all over it. Mm-hmm. Um, and also Chris Gould, as I just mentioned before, from Serpentine, ex Serpentine. A uh, great guitar player, really playing some absolutely awesome uh, very, very melodic uh, solos on, on this debut album. And also uh, David Ross and Garner, Dave Ross and Garner, um, Dan's brother, for, um, for those of you who... who you played on your know, solo record, of course. Who played bass on my solo record, Waterside. And a uh, fantastic bass player, really, really great bass player. And... Uh, you know, one of these people that comes up with great parts and things like that all the time. Mm. So it's the three of those guys. We've already made um, two videos for the album, and we're going to be making another three, which I believe Mr. Tree Birch is going to guest on because he played. <laughs> we've got to tell the people that you played the keyboards. Indeed, yes, yes. Daryl yes. played the keyboards on the Teo album as well, um, and we got a, a drum drummer called Brian, drummer called Brian Webster, yeah, and he's playing drums on the album. Um, Pretty good, pretty good drummer again. Bit of a crazy character. You're gonna love him when you when you meet him. When Tails start to play live, he's a real character. Absolutely. Yeah, think animal from Muppets. Yeah, he's, he's mad as a box of frogs. But there you go. Um, anyway, so that's the situation. Um, the situation with Tao. That's going to be coming out very soon as well. I believe the release for that is going to be around about the 15th of October. Yeah. Um, so hopefully uh, there'll be a bit of press and, and things. And we'll do another that. update, I guess similar to this, with the, with the lead singer, and we'll give you all more dates and where to get the album and you know Facebook pages and website mm. pages and all that imminently. Yeah. Um, so. And we'll get Dave and maybe Chris to do some little mm. updates from Tao as well to, to be able to yep. add to that as well for you. So, uh, And we're going to draw this to a close because guess what? What's happening, Daz? Can you see? My phone is dying. Yes. But there you go. There you go. That's because I gasped. That's life. On it's it. an old phone. It's an old... It's, don't tell me it's an old phone. <laughs> it's actually one of those Nokia, the brick ones. Mm. And t- it's got an aerial, this. It's got an aerial. Okay. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I don't care what is it, the, uh, good morning Vietnam. Don't care what you play, just play it loud. Just play it loud. Right, okay, no problem. We've take taken, care, everybody. We've taken enough of your time, okay. We shall take some more another day, but for the meantime... All's good, all's well in the ten camp. Lots, lots of, to give you. Lots of love from us to you. Okay, cheerio. Bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.